Good morning, my people. It's like seven o'clock right now. Okay, I'm gonna be totally honest, guys. So I was watching like a ton of old YouTube videos of mine and I realized how young I was, how like naive I was. And they honestly, watching them inspire me to pick up my camera right now at seven o'clock on a Friday night. And I'm just gonna start vlogging and we're just gonna share and they're gonna be random, but I'm, I miss it a lot. So I guess I can kind of start off with Hayden's bedtime routine. So Hayden is 19 months now, which is crazy. Right now he's in the bath. So what we do is he had dinner. So we play outside for a little bit. And then we feed him dinner and then he takes a bath and then I will give him some milk and we'll put him to bed. Lately, if you have a toddler, you know what I'm talking about, but everything that used to work for him before to get him to sleep is not working right now. Okay, I don't know why. Don't know what's going on, but we're just gonna try to get him to sleep tonight. It's been kind of hard lately and Cody's actually been so amazing and has been really helping me been really switching off getting him to bed but he is at a shoot right now so i'm solo and i haven't had dinner yet and so it's gonna be fun <laughs> are you ready to get out what do you think yeah, yeah. <laughs> little doggy next step good old diaper which is normally a fight oh i've gotten good at honestly putting his diaper on standing up it's like so funny the things that you learn next step jammies you got a little bit of a cranky boy because his nap was a lot shorter than normal naps. He only slept for an hour, and Hayden is a good napper. Like, he normally naps like two, three hours, so he only took like a car nap today. <laughs> so I know he's pretty tired. We're almost done, baby. And then this side of your arm, good job. You got some dinosaurs on your jammies. <laughs> Cheers, happy Saturday. Mm. Last night I was trying to get Hayden to bed and it was just like really hard. Like it's just like hasn't been the easiest to him to sleep lately. Like he used to love being rocked and I would like sing to him and he'd fall asleep that way. That's not working. He doesn't want me to rock him. If I lay, sometimes I'll get in his crib with him and lay there. And if I do that, he's like crawling all over me. He doesn't want to go to sleep. And then sometimes also what works is we'll put him in our bed with us and we'll just like lay there for a second. He'll fall asleep. That wasn't working. I kept trying. I had been trying for like an hour and then Cody got home and I was like, can you please help me? Hayden's like screaming and I'm just like, I love you buddy. Like it's time to go to bed. And I like shut his door and then Cody's like, go take a shower. Like I got it, my chassis. And so basically I went and took a shower and then Cody got him to bed. But I was like just having like really bad mom guilt because I was thinking like, man, like I should have just been a little more patient. I should have just like gotten to bed. Like feel bad that he was crying the last time I saw him that night. I just was feeling really bad about myself. And it's like crazy. Cause like as soon as he goes to sleep, I like miss him so bad. And I guess I'm just sharing because that's just kind of how I was feeling. And I want to share it with any other moms. I think you want to get in my lap right now. Oh, thank you. Whoa, it's crazy just in here. Anyway, I just was sharing in case like, anyone else feels like this and it was kind of hard. I did sleep really, really good, which was cool because, I mean, not really good, but definitely better than normal. Sleep's been so funny because he'll literally like wake up and then just be up for hours in the middle of the night. Last ah. night, Cody grabbed him ah. <laughs> and he oh, came and slept in our bed and he actually ah. fell asleep. So sometimes... Ah. Ah. Really? We're gonna do some breakfast. I'm gonna go to a spin class. I'm so excited because my workouts are like my me time and it like makes me feel so good to just go take care of myself. So we're leaving, or I'm leaving in like about an hour. So this is the phase of life we're in. He just got up on here by himself. Can you get off? Uh. Oh.
we're here we made it i'm very tired it's like all rainy outside and i just like want to go back home and cuddle my boys but also i do know that like me doing this like really makes me a better mom and a better wife because i'm able to like kind of just like take care of myself and like not have to like look on my shoulder for a toddler or have to answer to anyone or have to do anything for anyone and it's just like for me and so i'm gonna finish up my coffee and then we're gonna go in also i'm like getting over a cold and i just feel like it's like lingering forever like i don't feel sick but i feel like everything's like still coming out like i can't hear out of my ears it's just like not fun i just try to think about like what i'm grateful for and i'm grateful i can move my body and even though i'm like not really that motivated to be here right now i know that i'll feel so much better when i'm done and i and finish with the class and it's so funny because my workouts have changed so much and I feel like I've been really into classes lately because home all day but I want to like get out so I feel like that's like why I've been doing classes more I've been really mixing spin and Pilates and I've been really liking it a lot so but I do kind of want to like get more into back into weight training too because I feel like there's so many great benefits to that <sighs> and class starts in five minutes so I should probably go yet today which was an accident but um i just called cody and he doesn't have or he hasn't had coffee ah, check my shoes on he hasn't had coffee yet and he's been home with our baby and i have the car seat in my car so he can't go anywhere and so i was like do you want me to pick up coffee on the way home so i'm gonna have my second coffee of the day but i'm definitely going to not drink it right this second i'm gonna get it and then i'll stick it in my fridge until i eat some food definitely don't want to have two coffees on an empty stomach we gotta take a little bit better care of myself although I'm in love with coffee let's go <laughs> We are home and my breakfast, big surprise. Avocado toast, two eggs, bread, avocado, basil, sriracha, and then Cody freaking made cinnamon rolls. Why'd you make cinnamon rolls? Cause now I'm gonna eat them all. And I told Cody, I don't really like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and then I had a little bite and they're the best thing I ever had in my life. What did I say? <laughs> We're chilling. Cody's watching some shows. Aiden and Jazzy are, I don't really know what they're doing. What are you doing to her? Are you trying to put your shirt on her? Nice. Monday morning. <laughs> getting ready right now because we're gonna go drop Hayden off at my mom's so we can get work done for the day we're gonna we're gonna start doing that basically where there's like one full day of work and he goes and hangs out with my mom so I'm gonna put myself together I'll catch up in a bit all right we're ready you gotta go to Mimi's house we gotta get you changed real quick Hayden woke up at like 4 45 like just wouldn't go back to bed and so I'm pretty tired because um then he went to bed finally like 6 30 and then I fell asleep and then he was up for the day at 8 so it's fine because I actually had my alarm set a lot earlier because I was gonna try to head down to my mom's earlier but when he wasn't sleeping I was like you know what let's just all sleep a little bit extra but I have this diaper bag packed I packed a bunch of snacks extra outfit of course little mama <laughs> Love you guys. Bah. Bubbles. Blocks. Bear, good job. Just dropped Hayden off and like it aches my heart. I don't know why. Like he only goes once a week. I don't know I'm gonna cry. Um he only goes once a week and he's like with his grandma and I like know he's safe there, but it's like I just like kind of feel like a bad mom or like selfish and I know I shouldn't but it's like really hard for me to leave him because I just want to like spend all my time with him every day Ugh, I'm just trying to like create a life where we can do things and I can continue to stay home with him and I continue to have a business and it's like it's so hard I know that he's in good hands and I'm gonna pick him up later but it's just hard. It's hard like seeing his little face and like saying bye to him and like knowing that we're not gonna spend the day together. It's like not easy at all. Setting love to so many moms who drop their babies off every single day because I know that it's really hard and I am grateful to be home with him majority of the time. But like these Mondays for some reason, it's just hard, you know? And I know he has so much fun there, but 
it's just hard. I don't know what it is. It's just my heart just aches. But anyway, I'm heading back home. Me and Cody are working on a really cool project and that's why I'm dropping Hayden off. So we're working on a video course, which is super cool because I want to come out with like a new guide, but I also want to have like a video option for you guys. And so like, it's just really hard to like get that done with Hayden being home. Last week I dropped Hayden off and I filmed four of the workouts and I was so sore. I filmed them all in one day. It took like two hours. And so now we're gonna do that again today. So I gotta make sure to get home, eat something and then get straight into it. So I am excited, even though I'm like crying leaving Hayden. It's just like really hard to juggle being a mom and working and I'm just trying my best. I feel like I've been like in a really big funk with the business since I've had Hayden. Like it's been really hard to kind of find my footing and find my place learning as I go but I do really want to kind of nail down my career and just get a more solid path because the business has been really really hard for me for a long time and it shouldn't be this hard it should be, I mean it's what I love to do the business is hard but I'm grateful that it's something that brings me so much like passion and joy if all this vlog is teaching you is that my caffeine addiction has not changed. <laughs> I'm in Starbucks right now and I'm gonna get me and Cody a coffee and then I just have to like go put my hair up, get my sneakers on, put some mascara on and start shooting, start working out all day long again, which is okay because I mean, that's a really cool job. So very grateful, I'm gonna go and do it. Put down all the workouts that we're doing in this guide for this week and I'm gonna put them over there and we're gonna start filming with like the worst filmmaker ever. Sick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you doing? Drugs. This keeps touching my head. It's, it's a weird feeling. I'm all doing stuff. It's like <laughs> massaging your head. It's like one of those dog. You know the dog toys. The little metal thing. You know you go like in your head. It's like, so it's not. That's not a dog toy. Oh, well, it's not. No. <laughs> I still thought I thought that was just for dogs. All right, guys. That was my first vlog back. Super random, all over the place. It was filmed like within a course of three days, but that's kind of like what life's been looking like right now. It's been like momming mainly, fitting in work, trying to figure out my path, feeling guilty for figuring out my own path, you know, and just trying to figure it out. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys want to see more like day in the life vlogs or if you have any ideas for me, drop them in the comments down below. I'm so excited to be back. I think I haven't uploaded a video in 10 months, which I'm mad at myself for that but I've been trying to figure out what the heck I want to do, you know? So we're back. Very, very excited. This is very fun to make. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And while you're at, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.